We're looking at S&P 500 and many futures, time frame is 2000 tick chart, and the structure of this market right now is a trading range. There is the support, there is the resistance, and these are the key levels that I'm paying attention because there's a high likelihood prices will bounce once they reach these important areas on the chart. In the meantime, I'm following the trend line rule which says after break of the channel, meaning close outside, there's expected to be moved to a new extreme. And this was the downtrend working lower, followed by a break, and this is the lowest lower, this is the new extreme. And after that, correction can appear or straight up reversal. Now we straight up reversed and I'm following the same trend line rule just to the upside. Also, I'm drawing these corrections. You guys can see first leg down, pull back, second leg down. So this downtrend played out, it's over. Strong bullish above EMA indicating bullish momentum. And at this point on, I expect for prices to reach new extreme. But I am careful, stock market is going to open in five minutes. The stock market opened four minutes ago. And we had a spike in the channel pattern. EMA kept holding price. And we had two like a pullback second entry long right at the exponential moving average. And this uptrend still needed new extreme. But this happened exactly around the open. Therefore, this is why there is such a gigantic bullish bar. As you guys can see, we reached new high and we are pushing below EMA. But at this point, on, we still have a bullish bias. Now that I'm looking at the structure, even though we came from the highs, the short and downtrend has a break new low strong push above exponential moving average and i can see that we have a clear bullish imbalance notice each new low is higher than the previous one and prices are failing to reach at least the midline so this is indicating to me that there is a still bullish bias for the reason i'm drawing this small little support here because prices are bouncing off of this had this been a second entry long i definitely would have liked going long here but this is just a first entry long counting from this high so a little bit more aggressive but overall structure is bullish given the fact that each new low is higher than the previous one and this bottom of the range is completely empty this is how we identify the imbalance and you don't want to take premature shorts just yet right now i'm drawing wider uptrend because the bullish imbalance transform into strong bullish momentum i cannot deny that we are clearly breaking higher we pull back tested the breakout area most breakouts of trading just will fail there was a breakout pullback and we strongly reverse higher if this was proper trading range we would pull back into this so for that reason, I'm sticking to a wider pattern because this is not acting no more as a trading range and prices are just creating a series of higher highs and higher lows and I need to adapt to the structure and this is a clearly bullish structure. So I'm waiting for a good high probability long at this point on. All right, traders, we just had a two-legged like pullback which I was contemplating taking. The signal bar was probably good enough. I should have pulled the trigger here because it's now new high, first entry long, second entry long, at the EMA, down to play that with the break a new high. The bar looked quite bearish once it was forming at the very end of the bar. It formed this doji-ish bar, but there's a nice tail. I hesitated a little bit, but this is nice. Two like a pullback at the key entry point in a strong bullish structure. All right, so the wider uptrend didn't really get confirmed. I was looking for push above EMA and to give me felt second entry short. But you guys can see prices completely ignored the channel, although this support came into play, but it strongly reversed down without any setup. So that means that right now I have to adapt to the structure. It's doing a little bit different than i expected looking for some downtrend this may be a little bit too flat we may have steeper downtrend developing but definitely right now i'm paying attention to the shortened downtrend all right traders i'm resuming the video as we have a second entry short forming and a felt second entry long at the same time so my order got filled i'm going to go for a tick target profit and i see first entry short pullback second entry short right at two key entry points ema keeps holding prices the trend line i find earlier is holding prices Uptrend played out with the break, attempt to create new extreme, and also this is a new high, first entry long, pullback, second entry long, failure. So I'm betting on the bearish bias, I'm hoping the key entry points will hold, of course anything can happen, but I'm following my rules, following my plan, and let's see if this setup can produce a scalp here. And it looks like we may get stopped out here on our first trade for the day. I have to take this trade. Second entry short, felt second entry long. Pretty much nothing else for me to think about. I'm following the rules. And they going for us. Oh, and we got stopped out here. So it's a shame, but I really like this entry and I um, don't think I have anything against it. So this was our first trade and we got stopped out here. All right, traders. And it looks like we may have back to back a double trap entry. Bias is still bearish. This downtrend needs to get new extreme, big bearish bar. Uptrend now has a clear new high, EMA keeps holding price, and the downtrend needs to get new low. So I'm looking for prices to still get the scalp. Sometimes that happened, this fake out, and we got out. So 
<clears throat> nothing I can do. I have to follow the rules. I have to follow the plan. This was just a little fake out that I couldn't predict. But otherwise, price action rules. I have to follow here. All right, traders, I'm tightening my runner to 10 points. Took the runner because we now had a break two legs to a new extreme. We took 10 points and I don't want to risk too much. I want to cover the losing trade, which was a nasty one. A little fake out double trap, big bearish bar. And the price action structure still remains the same. I still expect new low, still first break of the downtrend, still below EMA, still bearish bias. Fortunately, the runner gave us a nice cushion back, but it's a little bit unfortunate if you took it. You follow the rules here. All right, so the uptrend just had a break, two legs to new extreme, and the overall bias still looks quite bearish. So I expect for prices to reach the new low. However, I need to be patient. I cannot jump the gun. Right now, I have to sit through this bullish correction. There was even no chance to take a good long entry. So price action is right now quite difficult. And that means that I have to be patient and not force any entry. We'll see what price action will do now because now we had a break, new high of the uptrend, even the wider one. And let's see if we can get some bearish momentum soon. All right, traders, we have a lower high that I'm going to try to enter. It still didn't reach scalp in the meantime, I believe. So I can still take this entry. So I'm going to place my stop loss. One tick above the single bar. I'm going to go for eight ticks. So we reached the eight ticks, but we wouldn't trigger through. So for that reason, I'm still sticking with this uh, lower high here. And what I'm looking at, I see uptrend playing out with the break. Two legs to a new extreme. Strong push below EMA. And we have a nice big bearish bar. Also, there's a possibility for this leaf. It is invalid. It's going to trap a lot of people going long. And the bigger bias is still bearish. And I'm expecting for prices to reach new low of the downtrend. And we got out. So I'm going to quickly tighten the stop loss. This downtrend also needs a new low break, new low formed. The main resistance for the trading range is still holding. We had more bullish legs than I initially expected. You guys can see I barely managed to get the scalp. And then we kept pushing higher without any clear uptrend. So this is quite confusing at this point. And we had a break to like new extreme. And because the resistance right now is holding and we push strongly below EMA, I'm drawing the wider downtrend and I'm sticking with short entries at this point on. All right, traders, we have a felt second entry long, but I'm not taking this felt second entry long because it feels a little bit too stacked. One, two, three, four, five, six bars stacked next to each other. And for that reason, I'm not taking this trade, even though this is looking very tempting and probably well going to push lower. I just don't like so many bars stacked. At this point on, this is too much sideways and it shows a very little bearish uh, momentum, basically one, two, three, four, five, six bars sideways. I would have preferred to get a felt second entry long, closer to EMA without congestion, without the stacked entry. And it looks like it's going to reverse here on the felt second entry long. You cannot force entry because we already had two legs down and then it consolidated, it went a little bit sideways. So there are clues that it really should have supposed to form below EMA and overall bullish bias right now shorten. So I want to go short by can I just pull the trigger just yet. All right traders, I just entered a felt second entry long because price is strongly pushed below exponential moving average, strong push below EMA. Now we have an overshoot. We have a quadruple top that held. And since we push strongly below EMA and I combine it with the overshoot, I combine it with the quadruple top. Also, we are inside of this downtrend. We ticked higher instant reverse down, big bearish bar. I decided to take this I felt second entry long, even though this is not what you want to see, but I like it from the price session perspective here. There's a little bit of a bullish bias, but the prices are so slow. It's looked like a trading range structure. And when you see such a strong resistance holding consistently, I'm actually going to go for six ticks only because it is really slow now. We've been working sideways and we got out perfect. So this was our last trade for the day. I'm going to mark it with the arrow. Right, and our runner just got stopped. So never mind, this was a, a little quick scalp, but market is moving too slow. I cannot go for eight ticks when the market is very slow. Quadruple top, strong push build EMA, combining it with the overshoot, first entry long, second entry long. Feather EMA kept holding price. This downtrend kept holding price. It isn't probably a little bit tighter, but we still needed to get new low for the downtrend. But you guys can see it barely pushed lower and now it's halting again. All right, traders, this is my last trade for the day. I'm going to wrap it up. It was really slow. The market really stalled and there really weren't that many setups. You guys can see it barely got out and market reversed because we just had a break, new extreme form. And overall, no clean setups at the start. It looked like a trading range, but strong bullish imbalance pushed market higher. So the uptrend was confirmed. There was a nice second entry long. Quite surprising that we eventually traded back into a trading range given how strong the bullish structure was. We have to adapt, strong push below EMA. They got us trapped right here, which is unfortunate, but 
it happens following the rules and then it was really painful to sit here and watch this is not a great entry because it was too bullish i think i got lucky here i expected still for prices to reach the low of the day because the downtrend was too strong and uptrend played out with two legs to new extreme but at this point on so many higher lows so many higher highs better to wait and around this area completely confusing so i hope the video was educational and you had a decent trading day and i'm gonna see you guys in the next one take care everybody prices form a two like a pullback small little support was formed and there was strong push above ema first entry short second entry short reversal pattern failure ema keeps holding price and market continue pushing higher now notice if i'm going to zoom out and i'm going to take into consideration the structure this is what is called a bullish imbalance because this is the law of the day and this is a trading range but prices are failing to reach the bottom of this trading range the bottom half of this trading range is completely empty and there is a lot of empty room so that tells you that the breakout may eventually succeed and you don't necessarily want to be fading the breakout and notice what happened there was a swing that will help you set up the trend line but when you're watching this you're not really sure whether the trend line is valid or not just yet prices are working higher but right now all these entries are far from key entry point far from ema they are hugging the upper trend channel line prices pull back in the form of a two leg pullback first leg down pull back second leg down visual a larger two leg pullback confirmed that this trend line is valid so this is right now a bullish structure key entry point is holding price and after strong push above ema we would expect to get a high low confirmation set over to like a pullback but there was unfortunately no trigger below this red bar so this is a little bit aggressive higher low but notice what happened next new high form you reset the count at every new high first entry long pullback second entry long where at two key entry points ema keeps holding price trend line is holding price and now getting sixth confirmation telling you that this trend line is valid two key entry points bullish bias great second entry long and then you even have new low first entry short second entry short failure because everybody going short on a second entry short that goes against the major trend is most likely going to get trapped in a nice bullish bar but a nice high product is set up this was i wanted to come back and finish this video to show you guys that the structure eventually managed to get clear i'm gonna see you next time